Hey everyone, this is part 3 of Harvard Studies of Battery Technology and in this final lecture and I will be talking about different types of charging which I did uh, touch upon in the last video but this time in this video what additional are we going to talk about is the charging related with the cost benefits that we get from using different levels of charging. All right, let's get started. And from the previous video, we uh, we saw what Tesla home charging looks like. It's a walled char connector, which is like the fastest way to charge at home. But uh, at the same time, you come across different levels of charging. One of the levels that was level one and two that we discussed was at home. And this is the residential outlet. And uh, some of the level two are in modern output, which is 220 volts. Um, whereas the level one is 1.4 kilowatts so because there's a low uh, low capacity of currents going in this uh, modes of charging levels take a lot of duration to charge the whole car and when we touch upon level three four and five different types of charging the corresponding um, units such as level three is delivery of 50 kilowatts four is 150 and five which is the ultra fast comes out to be 350 so as we move up in scale the lesser duration it takes to charge the whole car and this is what we talked about in our last video now knowing this what are we going to talk about in this video is the cost of charging so when we just first talk about the charging at residential or commercial place what comes across is level one charging is technically free because of the capacity current that it's providing it's quite residential which is the normal the application that your cell phone might be using your chargers your different technical gadgets might be using so that's pretty much nothing different and when we talk about level two level three and move up in scale there's a uh, minimum level two and maximum level two that's why there's a two difference and the maximum is only available to those that are commercial and it's not applicable to a residential unless and until you have a different um, mode of charging uh, installed for the charging of vehicle and here we can see that uh, level two has a 1.3 grand of uh, just the installation fee Whereas when we talk about commercial sites, um, you have to pay um, a set of different utility services that you need to install your charger connector in order for your car or others cars to get charged. So what this includes is the installation of your wall adapter, which comes out for just level two is 3.1 grand. And uh, site uh, depends on where it is, depending on the grid location, how far it is. So it technically takes around three thousand dollars. The utility service from the providers, the electricity providers, per month it takes about four thousand per station. The transformers is installed as well, like I mentioned before, that whatever the current is coming in, it needs to step it up. And due to this reason, we need to have a proper transformer installed once and for all. It's a one-time investment, and that comes out to be 5.6 grand. Uh, the equipment from which you charge your the high capacity current to the capacity which is allowed to your EV uh, comes out to be 3.8 grand. And this is just the lowest scale of commercial. And you can see and figure out yourself if we move on with uh, different levels the price of it increases however we did find out in a previous video that level 5 was this faster charging mode and it takes up typically about three to four minutes to fully charge your vehicle and we can see the cost and we can wonder why it it is so all right let's put things in perspective so what really happens is that when the cost uh, for level 3 to level 5 the fast charging installation is typically higher and this facilities typically require a new transformer which is about 30 to 40 grand and although the increasing charging stations uh, can reduce the per charging cost of a transformer to about 10 to 25,000 the cost of services however it keeps extending to 3.5 to 9.5 because you need to have those services um, taking place in order for your transformer not to wear out 
See, there are different things that can happen in transformer. The lubricant in transformer can be deduced and technically now we'll be using such uh, OL systems so the transformer does not get heated up and thus the functioning of stepping up the current in a perfect manner which is it um, required to. Now next thing we talk about is a variable cost. The variable cost is two for two different um, charging stations. Like I mentioned, one for residential, one for commercial. In most cases, for residential, the level 1, 2 are adapted to the houses. And um, because the residential rate is per kilowatt hour consumed, rates uh, which are offered um, are significantly higher during peak times. Now, what's going to happen is uh, whenever the user is using the EV during mid-afternoon and early evening, these users can choose to charge in the afternoon at premium rate or over the night at discounted rate. So typically, basically, whenever there's a <clears throat> low demand, uh, that's when you want to charge your car. And uh, for commercial users, so next is commercial. This uh, is when the electricity um, is supplied by the distributors at the highest rate. So technically what's happening is that from compared to residential areas, the electricity provided to these commercial sites are much higher. And because this is at bulk cost, the charge per kilowatt hour compared to residential is much cheaper. So it comes out, um, for example, to 2016 has 145 cents, uh, about 14 or 15 cents per kilowatt hour. And for residential, whereas it was 15 cents for commercial site, it was about 18 cents for a residential site. So we could see that there is a typically increase uh, of price whenever there is a comparison between a commercial charging and residential charging. And uh, this is only due to the demand fact and the contracts of demand that is bought by the commercial sites. Now. If we want to talk about monthly cost of an EV compared that to an ICE, in this last section, what I want to tell you is per month amount of money you save when you buy an EV compared to an um, internal combustion engine, which is your typical gasoline car. So whenever we are using level two, which is a standard, it's uh, it's about 6.6 .6, uh, kilowatt, and when we charge it for about 8.62 kilowatt hour, um, 8.62 dollars per kilowatt. Uh, we, what we change, how much we uh, are supposed to pay is 57 dollars. And as we increase to level five, we come about 3,017 dollars. Now, compare that to an EVSE, which is the charging site. Um, the charging site, which is uh, required to charge more than just one of your car. A, the business for that um, you just basically pay about one point five thousand dollars more but in fact you can charge more people for using the service so when we are talking about EVSC we're talking about the charging stations and when we are talking general average cost of an EV we're talking about personal charging usages so here you can see the number of dollars per month and which you could be saving if you switch to an EV from an IVS ICE. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Um